Gilgit and Baltistan were part of the state of Jammu and Kashmir that acceded to India. Pakistan invaded these territories by committing war crimes, by sending its civilian soldiers in, uh, by sending its soldiers in civilian attire and occupying those territories. There is no question Gilgit and Baltistan were never asked what to pawn. Number two, they are sovereign territory occupied by Pakistan and they are sovereign territory because pa India recognizes as such. As far as Pakistani, uh, Pakistan goes, have you read the United Nations Security Council Resolution of 1948? What is the first point, sir? What does the first point say? That's what I'm telling you. you I'm asking a question, sir. If you don't have... One second. No, just a second. If you don't have the answer, sir... If you are going to... If you're a commentator, you have to be an impartial... No, no, I'm not impartial. I'm not impartial. You, you I'm not impartial. impartial. You should uh, you should read your body and No, no. I my question, sir. It is settled in the United Nations government Kashmir is disputed. No, it's not. It's not. not part of India. It's yeah. not. Have you? It is. You can go to your map. Okay. You have. Map. I have one question. Have you read the United Nations Security Council resolution? Yeah. And what is line number one? What is line number one? You you don't know, right? I know. I know. What I know. does it say? Please tell me. What is it? What you have read. It says that Pakistan will withdraw every soldier and civilian from the territory of the state of Jammu Kashmir that it did not occupy or were not present there on August 14, 1947. Yes. So get the damn Pakistani troops out of there and get your surrogates from the Chinese army out of that area and then come down and talk. Don't spend this Pakistani propaganda over oh, here that Jammu and Kashmir. No, sir. Okay. Because you are a terrorist I'm government. I am also like Baranda is here. I am also here. I am fighting for my rights. How can you then be as a terrorist or a Pakistani? Anybody is supporting is Pakistan is a terrorist. You see, you see, the, the UN resolutions are that the both You haven't read it, sir. You have not read it, and you do not have the courage to admit it. First, begin with the UN Security Council Resolution 48. Sir, have you read it? Have you read? No. Okay, so you fir the first thing I'm going to encourage you to do is go on to the UN Security Council's website and read that fabulous resolution that every Pakistani points to, but which not a single one has read. I also then want you to take the actual version from the UN Security Council, and then I want you to compare that to the claims made by Pakistan's permanent representation to the UN. And you're going to understand your confusion, sir. So the resolution is actually very clear. There are three steps. They were sequential and they were conditional. The very first step was that Pakistan was supposed to demilitarize to the satisfaction of this UN body that was to be established. Then, conditional upon the UN being so satisfied with this demilitarization, India was also supposed to demilitarize with a presence being permitted to defend itself against Pakistani aggression. The third, having both of those two steps taken place to the satisfaction in sequence to this preferences of the UN, then the plebiscite would be held. So all those Pakistanis that are so upset about the plebiscite that never happened, they have their own government to blame because Pakistan never fulfilled the first necessary but insufficient condition. So I'm going to encourage you to actually read that before you ever make such a fool of yourself again by presenting it in public, right? So just do yourself a favor by reading the darn thing.